Okay, folks, we are going to do worksheet number one, limiting reactants. Specifically, we are working on problem five. This is only problem five. So there's problem five right in front of you. You'll notice what we're trying to figure out is how many grams of acid are formed uh, from some sulfur dioxide and some water. So and we need to you know limiting reactants and excess. Let's go through this. Of course, the first thing we always do is look at what we have and try and come up with a balanced chemical equation. We have sulfur dioxide, which is SO2, and it's reacting with water, which is H2O. And we do have 33.6 grams of sulfur dioxide, and we have 55.3 grams of water, and we are producing sulfuric, sulfurous acid. And if you don't know what sulfurous acid is, that's going to be a problem. So again, you have to be able to be good with names here, and sulfurous acid is H2SO. Three. So if I look at this, I realize I've got two H's on both sides, one sulfur on both sides, and three oxygens on both sides. I'm already balanced, so that was real easy. So now what I have to do is start with SO2. Oh, gee, we have to figure out how much SO2 weighs. Well, let's look at some things. SO2, if I go and I do the math to figure out how much that weighs, that's going to be 64.064 grams per mole. And water, you should know that by now. Water is 18.015 grams per mole. I don't even have to look that one up. And then sulfurous acid, H2SO3, you have to figure that out and that's 82.079 grams per mole. Alright, so now when we do this we're going to start with the SO2. So we're starting with 33.6 grams of SO2. And we have to get rid of grams of SO2. And we have to go to moles of SO2. That's what we always do. And then from there we can do our stoichiometry piece, which is moles of SO2. Two moles of our target substance, which is going to be H2SO3. But we don't want moles of H2SO3, we want grams of H2SO3. Grams of H2SO3. So, let's plug in some numbers that we have. We have one mole of SO2 is 33.6 grams. That's not right. Let's try that again. That's what we started with. It's 64.064 grams. From over on the right, way over here, we figured out our grams per mole. And our coefficients on everything are 1, so that's real easy. And also our sulfurous acid is 82.079 grams per mole. All right, if I do the math on that one, I come up with 43.0 grams of H2SO3, sulfurous acid. Okay, let's try our next one. That was SO3, uh, that was SO2. How about water as our beginning substance? We had 55.3 grams of water. And we have to get rid of grams of water and go to moles of water. And then from moles of water, we have to go to moles of sulfurous acid. And from moles of sulfurous acid, we have to go to grams of sulfurous acid. Alright, so one mole of water is 18.015 grams. As we said before, all of our coefficients are 1. And one mole of sulfurous acid is 82.079 grams. If I do the math here, I come up with 252, 252 grams. Wow! That's a lot. What a huge difference. Right? 43 grams down to 252. Alright, so now if I, so that tells me that my limiting reactant clearly is sulfur dioxide. That's what I ran out of first. The maximum number, the maximum amount of sulfurous acid I can produce is 43.0 grams. And that means there was a lot of uh, sulfurous acid that I could not produce based on the water that I had. H2SO3, sorry. So, what was that number? Well, 252 minus 43 is going to give me 209 grams. 
So now if I work my way backwards, and I start with 209 grams of my product, which is H2SO3, and I work back to the reactant that I had too much of, which in our case is water, because we had more water than we needed. So we have to get rid of grams of H2SO3. We have to go to moles of H2SO3. And then we have to go from moles of H2SO3 to moles of water. And then from moles of water, we have to go to grams of water. So we know that one mole of H2SO3, we already figured out that that weighs 82.079. And all of our coefficients are 1. And one mole of water weighs 18.015 grams. So when we do the math here, we come up with 45.9 grams of water that we did not use. So we only started with 55.3. So we used approximately 10 grams, and the remainder of it we did not use. So this is the excess water that we had. This is the water that was not used. All right, that's it. Hope you get it. If you don't, please see us in class. We'll be happy to explain it. Okay, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.